Hello everyone, welcome to uh, our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the design and simulation of an op-amp differentiator. So let's get started. This is a circuit diagram of an op-amp differentiator. So from the name of an op-amp differentiator, there are two things that you can derive out of it. Uh, it is a differentiator. So what does that uh, mean? So if you're supplying a sine wave, you'll be getting a cosine wave. It is basically a differentiation with respect to the input terminals. So if you're giving the input to the inverting terminal, the output will be uh, inverted as from the definition of an inverting amplifier so the output will be uh, having 180 degree phase shift with respect to the input secondly it is also called as op-amp so what does op-amp do it is basically an operational amplifier that performs certain operations differentiation is basically an operation and amplifier is basically a device that amplifies the signal with respect to the input terminals so that is all about uh, op-amp differentiator on a surface level if you understand this uh, this is the waveform with respect to it we'll be supplying a sine wave uh, vs is basically 4 volt that we are assuming and v out will be approximately equal to minus 250 volt and it is a cosine signal so it's starting from the negative direction because it is an inverting amplifier and if you see it is cosine it's randomly starting at some point with respect to sine it always starts from zero isn't it so that's the reason why we say this is a cosine signal and once this is done uh, we'll look into our design procedure every design has certain assumptions to be made out uh, in this uh, particular uh, circuit our assumption is that the supply voltage is chosen to be equal to 4 volt rf is 10 10 kilo ohm and c is 1 microfarad so uh, you can choose this value uh, based on your requirement amount of output voltage that you want i actually wanted minus 250 volt at the output so that's the reason why i chose these values so very careful with respect to uh, solving this equation in calculator v in is nothing but vm sin omega t isn't it so 4 vms 4 sin omega t omega can be taken out which is basically a constant and uh, so omega can be substituted as 2 pi f frequency chosen is 1000 hertz in the circuit you can try it for different frequencies as well but however if you see carefully you're supplying 4 volt and getting minus 250 volt isn't the circuit awesome isn't it so uh, we will be uh, getting uh, off with the MATLAB simulation now uh, in case you have any queries with respect to that feel free to reach out so let's get started all right here we are so uh, we'll click on the library browser uh, and search for the components that we want we want a voltage sensor so uh, search for voltage sensor and add this block um, apart from that we need uh, an AC voltage source so search for AC voltage uh, and uh, add this block choose the ones that are there in blue uh, with respect to uh, digital signal processing or amplifier applications uh, the ones that are there in black are commonly used for power systems and uh, 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 with respect to power electronics as well so electrical reference uh, which is basically the ground so search for it and add that block uh, so only thing that we need to do is we need to remember what are these blocks and directly we can search them search for solver configuration add that block as well uh, we also need uh, a simulink converter solver configuration block is one of the most important blocks for the simulation to take place if you do not have that block then simulation will not uh, be done uh, it will show you some error so it basically in converts the solver parameters uh, that we have with respect to our circuit so that's very high level understanding of it uh, we're not going in much details with respect to it we will be requiring a simulink converter so voltage sensor uh, is basically uh, a physical quantity any sensors for that matter that are that generally associated with real life isn't it so they need to be converted in a form that is required for MATLAB so we'll be using a simulink converter to do, do that functionality and once this is done we will be requiring a resistor so search for resistor uh, you will be uh, getting it over here at that block uh, we also need an op amp uh, which is basically the heart of our circuit search for operational amplifier and you'll be getting it over here uh, once all of these are added we'll also require another uh, block which is basically a capacitor um, and search for capacitor and add the one that is there in blue um, at last we would be requiring a scope in order to see how the waveform looks like so search for scope and add this block as well so we have added um, all the parameters that are required according to our circuit connection so we will be placing them in appropriate positions so that uh, we can get started according to our circuit connection so uh, at the first place we will be uh, changing the type of the terminology i mean the sign is plus and minus here so right click on this change uh, go to rotate and flip flip block and choose it up up down so now it is changed we'll be connecting a capacitor input capacitor the inverting terminal um, connect an electrical reference at this point and uh, we will be connecting uh, another electrical reference with respect to the non-inverting terminal so uh, choose this over here and uh, we'll be using a feedback resistor between the 
non inverting terminal and the output and uh, the voltage sensor is used in order to see the voltage at the input terminals and the output terminals as well use a simulink converter and convert it and give it to the scope similarly we will be having another voltage sensor at the output end in order to see what is the output waveform connect it with respect to ground and then give it to a simulink converter so copy paste we need another simulink converter how do we copy paste use control c control v that functionality is applicable in matlab so uh, connect it to the scope again here and uh, connect the solver configuration such that it touches any portion of your circuit so once this is done uh, we will be entering the parameters we will be uh, requiring a 10 kilo ohm resistor at this point and uh, click on ok and we will be having a capacitor with one microfarad it is set as default so no need to change that the voltage supply voltage is 4 volt and the frequency is 1000 hertz according to our design so click on ok and once this is done, we have entered all the parameters and all of things are ready. One of the most commonly made mistakes by students is um, the simulation time with respect to op amp. You need to have them in milliseconds. So I'll be choosing 0 .03, uh, 0 0.003 and click on run. So once the simulation is done, we will be double clicking on the scope in order to see how the waveform looks like. Um, so we will be separating them uh, in this particular fashion uh, and then we will be using uh, a vertical zoom uh, right click and choose vertical zoom so that you can clearly see uh, the type of since 4 volt is very small what happens is that uh, most of the times you will not be able to see the waveform properly just use this vertical zoom and you will be able to see it uh, properly it is with respect to 4 volt uh, if you see the supply voltage is sinusoidal and the value is 4 volt and uh, this is basically a cosine wave of form starting uh, from uh, negative direction basically uh, the input is supplied to the inverting terminal as a result the signal of sine is differentiated and you'll be getting cosine and uh, it is starting from negative because it is given to the inverting terminal so you can try this for different waveforms you can give a square wave you can give a triangular wave you can give it to the inverting terminals you can give it to the non-inverting terminals and check what is the output waveform all like so that's it for today in case you like this video please to like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you